friends welcome back to manina's helpline today we are here with new videos if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel by pressing bell icon for latest updates and new videos regarding meo class 4 exams so friends today we are here with a new topic question asked on batteries and its maintenance by mmd surveyor so i have covered some question which is mostly asked by the surveyors so let's start with that questions so the first question is the types of battery the types of battery are primary battery and secondary battery primary batteries are those batteries that are used once and when it get discharged it has to be discarded it cannot be recharged These kinds of the batteries are used in watches torch etc second comes the secondary battery secondary batteries can be used and when it get discharged it can be charged again these kinds of batteries are used for emergency power source for starting lifeboat engines etc and again secondary batteries are classified into two types that is lead acid battery and alkaline batteries these alkaline batteries are also known as nickel cadmium batteries friends here i am not describing these two batteries in details i will make a separate video for that so let's go for next question there is maintenance on batteries first is checking the terminal voltage for 12 volt fully charged battery terminal voltage it would give is 12.7 volt to 12.8 volt so this can be checked by multimeters second is the specific gravity specific gravity can be checked by using hydrometer this can only be used for lead acid batteries and for alkaline batteries specific gravity does not change with discharge so this can only be used for lead acid batteries third comes the checking the level of electrolyte so you have to just check the levels of electrolyte if level goes down please top up the electrolyte then comes the battery when this should be clean so when the battery is getting charged there is a guessing to escape this gas is vent is provided so this vent has to be kept clear so that positive escaping of gas is possible then comes the checking the tightness of the connection so terminal tightness has to be checked the last is cleaning the terminals and applying the petroleum jelly to avoid the corrosion now next comes the battery room safeties so first is no use of naked flames and light because if we use naked flame and light there is a chance of explosion because h2 gas that is hydrogen gas is accumulated inside the battery room second is flame proof light should be used third is intrinsically safe instrument and non sparkling tools shall be used inside the battery room metal jugs or jar should not be used for filling electrolyte a non metal jar should be used then proper ventilation should be provided exhaust fan used in battery room should have non metallic blades and motor should be placed outside the battery room then comes the fan switch should be located outside the battery room batteries should be placed on wooden blocks acid resistance paint should be used inside the battery room why ventilation is required when battery is getting charged it releases the hydrogen gas due to the electrochemical reaction between battery cells and electrolyte these gases get collected inside the battery room and it can cause explosion when come in contact with any heat source so ventilation is required before entering the battery room is how to order a battery or indent a battery so batteries are ordered on the basis of following rating first is ampere r rating second is voltage rating third is coal cranking ampere ratings fourth is marine cranking ampere ratings fifth is whether it is alkaline or acid battery and sixth is size and shape of the battery 
Now, if you say that following ratings, the next question will be what is CCA and MCA rating? So, CCA is the cold cranking ampere. So, it is the measure of current a fully battery can deliver for 30 seconds and maintain a voltage of 7.2 volts if the battery is 12 volt battery at a temperature of minus 18 degree celsius. These types of ratings are mostly preferred for cars and bike batteries. Then comes the MCA that is marine cranky ampere ratings. It is a measure of current a fully charged battery can deliver for 30 seconds and maintain a terminal voltage of 7.2 volt if the battery is 12 volt batteries at temperature of 0 degree celsius. These kinds of batteries are used for marine's application. Thank you friends, that's all for today. I'll make a separate video on alkaline batteries and lead acid batteries. So keep watching my videos and please subscribe if you are not subscribed for latest updates and videos. Thank you, goodbye.